microphone that is okay and we're gonna start Dillard's choice we are dealing with our first player he played in Farco on the last um game his name is AJ how you doing AJ Good. well AJ you want to tell the viewers about yourself again Good, good, good. Are you familiar with Dillard's Choice? No, but I have heard of it. I'll tell you how the game is played as we go along. But for right now, just because you're here, we're going to give you $1,000 to start. Thank you. There you go. $1,000 to start. And uh, 
AJ, how much you wanna wager up to a hundred dollars? Alright, I'll go with sixty-nine dollars. Everybody wanna go with sixty-nine. <laughs> All right, we'll take 69 away. So you're down to 931. There you go, you're down to 931. And that's your bet, 69. All right, Irene, what do you want to bet of one of $100? Oh, you only can bid up to one hundred on the first um on the first round. Okay, four hundred. Sorry, no, one hundred. Sorry. You want to do one hundred dollars? You can do one hundred dollars. So we'll take take that one hundred away, and that brings you down to nine hundred dollars. Justin, for showing how much you want to wager. 100. And he's wagering 100. Bringing him down to $900. Okay, and we're ready to do high low. Now, as long as a 7, 8, or 9 does not come up, you win, okay? If a 7, 8, or 9 comes up, you lose, okay? Here we go, our first card. It's an ace, you win. So this is a Pauline bet, so we double it up every time. AJ has 138. Irene has 200. And Justin has 200. Now, does anybody want to stop and walk away? Or do you want to go on and play again? I'll go on. Go on. Go on. Everybody's going on, okay. All right, we don't want a seven, eight, or nine. High low, here we go. Oh, it's a seven, y'all all lose. That sucks. That's how the ball bounces, I guess. All right, well, let's go ahead. That's the end of that round. That was quick. Let's go ahead and look at the running scores right now. So right now, at the moment, AJ is in the lead with $931. Irene and Justin are tied with $900, but we're just getting started. Now we're ready to go to our second game already. So the Hilo game is done with. And we go to you, Justin. You get a choice of these five games here. So here we go. You can either play combination, total up, any pair of loses, bingo or keno. Actually, Irene gets to go next. I'm sorry about that. Irene, you get the selection. You can play combination, total up, any pair of loses, bingo or keno. Keno. Going with keno. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, I can put the cards away for right now, for the moment. Okay, so we're going to Keno. And in the game of Keno, um, what y'all guys are going to do, this is going to be a secret bet, okay? So, in y'all private chat, you want to put your wager down and put the three numbers that you think are going to hit on the board. The numbers range from 1 to 16, okay? Now, let me see. Let me look at the Keno game right quick and be sure. Okay, so in this round, the maximum bet for Keno is $250 is the maximum bet, okay? The maximum is $250. That means don't bid more. Yeah, the maximum bet is $250. Don't bid more than $250. Okay, Justin already got it. Make sure you put your bet in, Justin. Yeah. Oh, you, okay. I'll tell you what, Irene. Private message me on um on a messenger. Your bet. Okay. 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 Yeah. The maximum bet is two hundred and fifty dollars, and um 
Um, you have to pick the three numbers from 1 to 16 that you think is going to hit on the board. There's Irene's. Let me make sure Irene got it right. And you have to pick three numbers from one. Three numbers from. <laughs> okay. All right. So y'all guys have to pick three numbers from one to 16 and put that with y'all bed. Very nice. Very nice. AJ. Okay. And then you got your numbers in too, Justin, right? Yes. And you put your wager in? Yeah. All right, so we are ready to play Keno. Let me take a minute to get the get the markers out. Give me a second to get the markers out for this game. That's very important. While I get the markers I out. Oh yeah. That. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm getting all the markers out. Like, that's, how I know, that's, that's how I know about the Kino, because I've done, I've done, like, real betting on the Kino. It's fun. I love it. It is a fun game. All right. I think that's something we could host here one day, like, just what? like a Kino. These Kino games. That would be a good idea. Okay, we got everything. Okay, so we got all the numbers out. I hope that all the um, mark is out. Now, here's how it's going to work, guys. So I'm going to randomly choose numbers from 1 through 16. I'm going to choose up to 8 numbers, okay? Now, if you're correct with one number, you'll get paid 1 to 1 on your bet, okay? If you, if you pick two numbers correctly... You'll get paid at three to one odds on your bet. And if you pick three numbers, all three of your numbers are right, you'll get paid five to one odds on your bet, okay? So are y'all ready to see what numbers come out on this uh, King Kino game? Yes. Here we go. Here's the first number. Number two. Number two. We pull up eight numbers. The next one we have is number six. Number six, we'll put that up there. Six more numbers to go. Here we go. Next one. Two came up again. Let's try again. Number 10. Number 10. We got three numbers picked. Five more numbers. Here we go. The next one is number 14. Number 14, okay, we have four more numbers to select from, here we go. Number one, number one, all right, three more numbers. Number eight, number eight, all right, two more numbers remaining. Number five, number five. I right, have one more number. Number one has been selected. Number six has been selected already. Number 14 has been selected already. Number six has been selected. All right, and number three, that's the last number. Number three, we got all the numbers out. We got all the numbers. So the numbers are one, two, three, five, six, eight, ten, and fourteen. Okay, we're going to start with you first, Irene. You bid. You said you bid two hundred fifty dollars. You said ten, one, and twelve. Okay, ten and one is correct. Twelve is not up there. You picked two out of three numbers, right? You bid two hundred fifty dollars. So at two hundred fifty dollars, you bid. You get seven hundred fifty dollars. So you go up to sixteen fifty. Nice. Well, you're up to sixteen fifty. I'm addicted to anything that has to do with Kino. I'm addicted to. I'm addicted to Kino. Okay. All right. Let's see, Justin. Let's see where Justin is. Now I'm confused.
confused which one is Justin here. Here we go. This is Justin for shelving. Let's see how you did, Justin. You bid six, nine, and four. If there is a six, no nine and no four. You bid two fifty, so you get the two hundred fifty dollars for bidding that six. So you go up to eleven fifty, Justin. Now you, AJ, let's see what you bid. I know you bid $69. I saw that. Let's see uh, what's the numbers you picked. You did three, 15, and 1. 3 is there, not 15. 1 is there. So 3 and 1 is there. So it's 69 times 3 you get out to make. Do the math. I have to do a calculator now. Okay, so clear it. 69 times 3 is $207 you get. So, let's add that up. I'm going to have to add that up on the calculator and put the 931. Okay, you're up to 1138 There we go. Okay, let's look at the running scores after that Keno game. We're going to have the running scores right now. Okay, so right now, Irene, you're in the league with $1,650. Justin Vershoni is in second place with $1,150. And AJ is in third place with $1,138. And we're done with the Keno game. And we're ready to do our third game. All right, so let's see what the third game we're going to be doing here. And Justin, you get the selection this time. Alright, so you get a choice of four games on this one. Here it is. You want to play the Tropicana 500, Dillard's Derby, Blackjack, or Bingo? Blackjack. We love that game. Black. We're going to play Blackjack, some Blackjack. Alright, let me put the numbers away. We're not going to need those anymore. Alright, yeah, Blackjack is an easy game. Alright, so we're going to put the um, numbers away now. We're not going to need them for the remainder of the video. Now I'm going to have to reshuffle the cards again. So bear with me, fellas. Alright, we're doing Blackjack. Okay, let's shuffle the cards here. Okay, we're ready to do blackjack here. Alright. So you know y'all guys know how blackjack is played already. Um so right now we're gonna start the bidding with you, Justin. The maximum bet on this game is five hundred dollars. What do you want to bid? Five hundred dollars. Okay, you're bidding five hundred dollars. Let me go ahead and write that down. Okay, so Justin's bidding five hundred. All right, uh, AJ, maximum bid is five hundred. What do you want to bid? I'll do four fifty. Okay, AJ's bidding four fifty. He's being a little bit gutsy now this time, good. And um, Irene, what do you want to bid? Uh, what's the question again? I'm sorry. What do you want to bid? The maximum bid is five hundred dollars in this game. What do you want to bid? Blackjack? Yes. Okay, I'll do three hundred, please. He's going. She's going to do three hundred dollars. Awesome. 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 As the 
as you know, you want to get as close to 21 as possible on blackjack. So, you go over 21, you lose, okay? Alright, so we're going to deal out the cards here. Let me get the table set up, and we'll start with AJ's card. AJ, your first card is a 9. There we go, a nice card of a 9. Irene, your card is a 4. And Justin, your card is a 3. And we'll put the face down card for the um, dealer. Okay, AJ is back on you again. Your next card, AJ, is a queen. You got 19, AJ. All right, Irene, your next card is a queen. Also, you have a 14. And um, Justin, your next card is a four. You have seven. And the dealer is showing a five. Not a good card for the dealer. Okay, we're going to start with you, AJ. AJ, you have a 19 showing. Do you want to hit on that 19 or you want to stay? Stay in on 19. Don't blame him. Now we go to you, Irene. You have a 14 showing. Do you want to hit on 14 or you want to um, uh, stay on 14? The dealer has 5 showing. Uh, You're going to hit on 14. Good luck. Here we go. You bust, Irene. It's a bust. So I re lose this three hundred dollars. So you go down to thirteen fifty. Okay, Justin, you have a seven showing. You're hitting or you're staying. You said seventeen, right? Seven. Okay, I'm gonna keep going. He's gonna keep going on seven. You have an ace right now. You have a south eighteen. It's an eight or eighteen. Right now, you can go ahead and hit on that 18 or stay on that 18. I'm going to stay on the 18. You're going to stay on 18. Okay. So the dealer so the um, dealer has a 5 only. We hope he has a miserable card right here. Let's see what the dealer's face down card is. It's a jack. He has a 15 that is under 17. So he must take another card here. Next card is... A three. He has 18. So, Justin, you don't win any money, but you don't lose any money because you got an 18 also. But, AJ, you win the hand. So, let's update the scores here. That's going to change the scores up here. Okay, so AJ, you're gonna go. You bid four fifty, so you go up to fifteen hundred and eighty-eight dollars. I think it is. Yeah, fifteen eighty-eight. You're in the lead. There we go. So let me go ahead and add that four fifty to your score. That's fifteen eighty-eight. Irene loses the 300, she's at 1350. And Justin stays at the 1150. So the scores are um, AJ is in the lead with 1588. Irene has 1350, and Justin has 1150. The game is still close here. Okay, so Justin, since you're behind a little bit, you'll get to pick the next game, okay? Alright, so we're done with the cards. We're on our fourth game now. Alright. Alright, so the three games you can pick from is Wheel of Chance, Tropicana 500, or Dillard's Derby. Let's go. Wheel of Chance. Wheel of Chance, okay. Now, in the game of Wheel of Chance, Anybody can come back in this game here. So in the game of Wheel of Chance, what y'all going to do is y'all going to predict which suit is going to come up on the wheel first, okay? So, um, so 
And this one is a no limit bet. It's a no limit bet. So y'all guys are going to private message me your bet, and then you're going to predict which suit is going to come up on the wheel. Now let me explain. If you go with a um, if you go with a um, spade, it's a one to one payday. If you go with the spade, if you go with a um, heart, it's a three to one payday. If you go with a club, it's a five to one payday. And if you go with a diamond, diamond there's only two diamonds on the wheel, is eleven to one payday. Okay, so give me your Wages, you can wager anything up to your total and give me the prediction of your um of what suit y'all going with. And Irene, you can private message me on Messenger. Well, what's the question again, sorry? Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna you can wager anything up to your total at this point. You have to give me the prediction of which suit is going to come up, whether it be a spade, clubs, diamond, or hearts. And I'll repeat it again. The spades odds are one to one. The spades odds are one to one. The hearts are the odds are three to one. The clubs odds are five to one, and the diamonds is eleven to one. Okay, so you chose. Okay, did everybody... Huh? You only get to choose one or you get to choose more? You only get to choose one suit. Okay. Okay, and did you put your bet in, AJ? Yep. Y'all put y'all bet in, in y'all suit? Did everybody put their bet in in their suit? Yes. Okay, everybody did? Alright, so I'm going to spin the wheel one time, and whatever comes up, hopefully that's what y'all going to win. Here we go. Let's spin the wheel. Here we go. It is a spade. It is a spade. So, if you selected a spade, you only get one to one. But let's see who um did what. We're going to start with you, Justin. If you bid it all and go to zero, you're eliminated from play. So here we go. Let's see what Justin picked. Now I saw, we'll just go with AJ because I saw what he picked. Okay, AJ went with clubs at $150. That is a wrong guess. So you're going to take $150 away from you. So you go to $1438. Okay, Justin, what do you have? Come on, Justin, I can't click on you. Oh, wow, you bid $1,100 on hearts. That is wrong. So you go down to $50, Justin. But you're still in the game, and I erased the dollar signs. It does not mean that the dollar signs aren't important. <laughs> okay, and then Irene, the dollar signs came off by mistake. That was my fault. All right, Irene, you bid $400 on a diamond, and that is wrong. So everybody lost on that one. You go down to $950. I bring back the, the dollar signs. I don't. I'm not gonna worry about that. The score is still up there. So, so AJ, you're still in the lead with 1438. Irene has 950, and Justin has just 50 dollars. But all y'all are eligible to play the final game. So the final game is the rolling of the dice. Okay. And what y'all gonna do is y'all gonna secretly. Message me on a number between zero to one thousand, okay? Alright. Let's make this quick because I I just the screen's about to start in a couple minutes. No problem. 
No problem. I'll make it quick. All right. Irene made her prediction. Did you make your prediction, Irene? A number between zero and one thousand. Yes. Is that it right there? I guess that is it. Okay. Everybody's made their prediction. Whoever comes the closest, um, without going over, will win ten times the amount on the dice. And it could be a winner. And whoever wins this game could win the whole thing. Here we go. So I'm going to start rolling the dice. I will roll until we get to a thousand points or a spade come up, okay? Here we go. First row. And that's off the board. I have to roll it again. We have 150. Next row. We have 250, we're up to 400. Next row. Oh, a spade! So we have, so that was 450. 450, okay? Now, I'll go to Irene first, because she, I saw her number first. All right, so, you went with 400, Irene. That's very close. That's very close. Okay, AJ, let's see what did you go with. Okay, Justin went with 700. You're over, Justin. All right, I'm, right, I'm going to head out now. I'll see you. I'll see you. See, see you later. later. And then AJ, you bid. 530, you're over. That means Irene wins. And Irene, wow, thank you. I understand that that's 450, but the minimum you can win in this game is $5,000, okay? So we're going to add the 5000 to your total. Yeah. Oops, not to his total. So you win the game with $5,950. So, Irene, you won with $5,950. That's your money to keep it. You'll be on the leaderboard with that. And if you're at the top um, of four high scores at the end of the season, y'all going to be in the tournament. Okay, well, that concludes Dealer's Choice. This is Rodney1279 signing off, saying be safe, be careful, take care of everybody, and stay blessed. Goodbye, y'all.